Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Gone Home. This is the behind the scenes achievement slash trophy for finding all commentary nodes in developer commentary mode. So go to the modifiers before starting, go to all lights start on, unlock all doors, and developer commentary on. I'm gonna be doing these quite quickly, so pay attention, make sure you're following along and don't miss anything. From the very beginning, make sure you pick up the commentary node above Christmas duck, the one in the front door, the one right in front of you at the bottom of the stairs as you enter, and now we'll be working our way around the house in a clockwise motion from the front door, making sure we pick up every single thing I pick up on screen, comparing the names to the bottom right hand corner. As soon as we enter, make sure you pick up the one in front of you, move this false door, and pick up the one behind uh, it. Then in the closet to the left, you'll find one near the backpack. Now, at the end of the hallway to the left, you'll find the TV room. Inside of that TV room, there are a total of three commentary notes. One is for the cables, one is for the VHS tapes, and one is an introduction of one of the uh, voiceover people. After that, uh, again, we've already done like almost 10 of them, so you'll want to be keeping track, making sure you're not missing any of them. Uh, across the hall from there, you can find Dad's office. So you'll have to pick up the one near the chair, go to the cabinet and open it and find the one in the cabinet and then the one next to the cabinet. That's a total of three in the first room alone and then a total of two in the second room in the library part of the office. Now if you don't have unlock all doors open, you would have had to unlock that cabinet. To unlock that cabinet, the code is 0451. Again, if you have all the doors open, you won't have to worry about that, but the code is 0451. From there, we're now moving on to the next set of rooms. Uh, down the hall, to the left-hand side, we'll open up into this room, which is kind of just a, a reading room, a bar room. There's one as soon as we enter next to the books, one next to a lamp in the back, one next to a record player in the back, and that's all three for this room. Continuing on, we'll find one directly in front of us next to this dresser, dresser called My So-Called Life. This is right in front of the door that leads to the basement. Now the reason I know all of these so well is because I spent three hours looking for them. Now at the very bottom of the stairs, we will find one directly in front of us, just a little bit to the left, make sure you don't miss it, called Ambient Music. We'll hook around to the left hand side, right in front of the furnace, we'll find one called The Furnace. Then just off of that, we'll find one just around the corner on the desk called Canadian Mom. Before going on to the one that we might see in plain sight, we'll want to go to this bathroom, and there's two in here, one next to the garbage and one next to a yellow note on the wall. Make sure you pick up both of those. Now make your way to the next room, and do not pick up the one right in front of you. Make sure you pick up this one first. It's called the put-back system, and now pick up this one. That's just a good idea to do the, the one that's kind of more hidden before you do the one that's right up in the obvious location. Just in case you miss one and you need to go back through the video, it might be easier for you to spot one that's, uh, you know, more out in the open. Make your way to the top of the stairs. At the top of the stairs, make sure you pick up Evolution to your left-hand side. Then turn to the right-hand side and pick up the one above this box called Funzines. Uh, then through the uh, wall here, we'll open up into this room, pick up Florida. As we pick up Florida, turn to your left down the hall, pick up the sliding doors one. Through the sliding doors into the pink dining room, there are two right next to the table, pretty obvious. Now there's a few hidden ones coming up, so make sure you're paying attention and listening closely. Through the slide door, through the slide door into the kitchen. There is one in the fridge, make sure you pick that one up. One above the greasy pizza box. One next to the pantry called the kitchen. Then we're gonna have to go to the garage. Inside the garage, we'll find one right in the middle, very easy to see, and there's also going to be one right next to the Easter egg location directly above us as we enter called Easter egg. Make sure you pick up that one as well. There's another hidden one coming up pretty shortly, just in case you think you might miss it. Pay attention closely. At the very end of the hallway, you'll find one next to this broken panel. Then inside of the washroom closest to the laundry room. Then we'll want to make our way into the laundry room where we can find one inside of the dryer. This one's one of the uh, more hidden ones. Now we'll want to make our way into the green room where we can find an additional two commentary nodes. Again, you don't need to listen to all the commentary, just click them. And once you click them, you'll see that the light actually turns off in the commentary node itself. And that's a good indication that you've clicked it and that it's registered. And if you do end up going back and searching for more at the end, You'll know which ones you've selected based on the fact that they are glowing or not. 
Now we're gonna make our way back to the foyer. To do so, just follow the hallway down, past the couch, past that open door, and unlock this door from the other side. Uh, we're gonna be sticking to our theme and sticking to the wall. Make sure you go into the closet in the foyer to pick up the Goodfellow Owl. Next to that, you can find Uncle Harvey. And that's everything for the bottom floor other than the attic room, or the kind of secret room with the attic key, rather. So next to the staircase, open up this secret door and make sure you find up the speed runs um, commentary node next to the attic key. Now we're going to basically be making our way upstairs through all the ones upstairs and into the attic. As soon as we make our way up the stairs right in front of you, in the cabinet bottom right hand side of that cabinet, make sure you pick that one up. Now we're going into Sam's room. Make sure you pick up all of these. There's quite a few, probably six or seven. Under the TV called Cart Art, uh, right next to the Stereogram poster. Inside of her closet, there are two of them. Make sure you pick up both of those. Inside of the locker, there's one of them. Make sure you pick up that one. And next to the bed on the ground, there is one. Uh, all of those have different names, obviously, that I forgot to mention and didn't have the time. Through the door, to the right-hand side of that door, there's a backpack on the ground. Make sure you pick up writing notes. Inside of the washroom, make sure you pick up the one right above the sink. One inside of the cabinet between the toilet and the sink called tampons. And then one inside of the bathtub called touch. That's three inside of this washroom, and now we're moving on to the parents' bedroom. Inside of the parents' bedroom, as soon as you enter to the right-hand side, bottom drawer, there's a one called condoms. Then next to that one across the room, you can find directly in front of you called mitten. Don't worry about their washroom, there's nothing in there. There's two inside their closet though, one's called ghost game and one is called missing shoes. Make sure you pick up both of those. So that's a total of four inside of the parents' bedroom. Now we're gonna be making our way closer towards the attic. Uh, in the second last room, there's going to be a, this is the guest room, make sure you pick up randomization. And then in the last room before the attic, make sure you pick up the cassette tape one above the chair here. And then the one that I actually missed for a very long time, thanks to Rand for helping me out. Close the lid, open the lid inside of the sewing room to find wildfire. And from wildfire, we'll be able to move directly into the attic. So open the attic. And there's a few in the attic, probably three or four from my memory. As soon as we come up the attic, make sure you look to your left-hand side and look onto the uh, nest to find a place for Christmas duck. Then you can find one next to the sleeping bag right here. Then you can find another one inside of this photography cold room, dark room, whatever it's called. And then you can find one called This is the End or the end. The achievement will unlock as you click it. You do not need to finish the game for it to unlock. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special thanks to Heron Giggles as well as all of these awesome people on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure you like, share it with a friend. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Peace.